Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, pub review. So today I'm going to be chatting about the Six Power Draft House in Victoria Centre. So there's, a, a, I would say, a recent picture of the insides. Now, we went in last time I went. I know it's been Six Power Draft House for a while now. Last time I went in, I'm sure it was an Irish bar um, back in the day. So we walked in, uh, we was waiting for our friends and uh, we were on going to Eastwood and Kimberley on a bit of a pub run. And they were late, so we said, oh, well, we're going to find a pub nearby. So we went in there and um, on keg, got Beaver Town and all that, you know, if you like your Beaver Towns and stuff, obviously plenty of lager options. Um, the only thing that fan I fancied on cask, was I think they only had three out of six casks on. I might be wrong, there might be more cask. Um Tiny Rebel, CWTCH, CW Welsh Red Ale on cask. And yeah, tasting absolutely spot on. Um first time having that, certainly on cask as well. And uh, I think it's their flagship brand if memory serves me correctly. And uh, yeah, like I say, there's outdoor seating on the main drag, on the main road. Um, I wasn't bothered about that. Quite a decent sized outdoor seating. And then indoors, it's one big room. Uh, lots of tables to sit on. I assume it gets quite busy in there. They've got a coffee barista thing there. You've got your lagers for the people who like lagers. Um, and the, for me, what, what was the king was the craft beer fridge. I mean, uh, spoke to the guys and uh, they said that they had the likes of Bang the Elephant on, on, on cask and that. And like I said, when we walked in, it was a Saturday and I was surprised actually that all the cask lines were not running. Um, but hey-ho, problem with cask is, unless you sell it, then you've got to chuck it and uh, it's only got a certain life date on it so i can understand if they didn't have any on or as many on as they would uh, there was some lines on um to be honest i can only remember the line i actually drank um whether the lines were breweries that i'm just not keen on at the moment it might have been that i can't remember personally uh, but the craft beer fridge had neon wrap to him, black iris, totally brewed, funnily enough. Uh, Bang the Elephants were in there, Vault City, Tartarus, North Brewing. There was a lot of belting breweries in there. I mean, to be fair, the fridge, you know, battered whatever was on, on the bar. Um, lad serving, decent, know the stuff. Talked a little bit about cask. Um pub itself people coming in quite regular not as busy as you would assume you know because it's next to victoria center the nottingham's main shopping center on the pub side of things it's on its own where it is there i mean i know the peacock's up the road and there's the other one um i can't remember the name of more of it more than more of a normal old trad style beer drinkers pub probably probably doom bar on the bar and things like that but hey ho but yeah the pint was perfect um i enjoyed the place you know it's one of those that i'll visit again at some stage when i'm in the nottingham area city center area that is uh although being as i live in nottingham i never actually get into town very often it is very rare do i go into the city center um but yeah that mix of craft and keg uh keg beers the likes of the different beaver town beers obviously you appeal into the to the to the mass population not so much the craft beer cask beer drinkers but the the fridge itself you know you get a can out of the fridge you share it between two of your jobs are good and i mean uh, the prices were decent as well so that was something to note but yeah, we had a good time in there and uh, met up with our friends. They had half each as well. And uh, yeah, the beer was decent. 
And that's it for my review really, short and sweet, but uh, a decent little place in the city centre. Cheers on.